Today is the fifth Sunday of Easter. And today's gospel, according to St. John chapter 15, gives us a beautiful image of Jesus as Jesus the true vine. There's a Chinese proverb which says, an image is worth a thousand words. And when we look at the vine, the branches and the fruit, we have so much to reflect, so much to meditate and so much to apply to our lives. Jesus says, I am the vine and my father is the vine grower. He removes those branches which bear no fruit and he prunes those branches so that they may bear much fruit or more fruit. What are those branches or who are those branches that the father wants to remove? Those are branches are considered to be people who would listen to Jesus, who listen to his teachings but yet renounce him and disbelieve him, deny him. They would not consider his teaching and agree with his new teachings. And thus such people who do not believe in the Lord's teaching, he says, they will be thrown out by my father. And who are those whom the father wants to prune? Are those who follow Jesus, disciples, to make them better and better. And therefore, if you, if you read this gospel, there are about almost 11 times that Jesus mentions this word abide or another translation says remain abide in me remain in me 11 times and in order to abide in Jesus to remain in Jesus perhaps we could think of three areas that could help us to come closer to Jesus and those three areas is first the word of God Second, Holy Spirit. And third, other sacraments. Let's look at the first one. The Word. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, the scripture says that all scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness so that each one of us who belong to God may be proficient, efficient and equipped for every good word. And therefore Jesus says the word is very important because it cleanses in verse 3 says, yet the word has cleansed us. The word is important because in the word there is power. The word is active and alive. The second area that we could develop and help us to abide in Jesus and remain in Jesus is the Holy Spirit. The Catechism of the Catholic Church in 308 says that the Holy Spirit is like the living sap that enters through the vine, goes through the branches and helps to nourish the branch and bear fruit. And so also in our lives, when the Holy Spirit comes, it revives us, it recreates us, it reconstructs us and rebuilds us. The Catechism of the Catholic Church also in 737 says that fruit are born in us through the Holy Spirit. And which are the fruit? The fruit are mentioned in Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 and 23. Love, joy, peace, patience kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness and self-control. The third area we could develop to help us to abide in Jesus, to remain in Him is are the sacraments and particularly a sacrament which we can receive every day and that sacrament is none other than the Eucharist I would like to illustrate this sacrament with the help of a little story. 
there was this woman who migrated to a western country along with her family the first time she attended mass with her family she was inhibited she was constrained and she was frustrated because the way people greeted over there in this foreign country the way they dressed the accent of the priest and the hymns that were selected isolated her from the others in spite of her family being over there but when the holy communion was being distributed and when she received the communion through the hands of the priest who said body of christ at that time barriers broke because then she realized that she belongs not to the church alone this particular church but she belongs to the entire mystical body of christ my dear friends paul would always say in his letters to the galatian to the corinthians and all other places belong to jesus remain in him abide in him with the word come together eat together pray together spend time with one another share one another's goods and that's how paul would say he would he, he abided in jesus he connected himself he remained in jesus why he had to abide what is the scripture that helps us to realize paul's thinking is galatian chapter 2 verse 20 paul says it's no longer i who live but it is christ who lives in me the life that i now live in the flesh is i live in faith in the son of god who loved me and who gave his life for me and what is the result of our abiding in christ what happens when we are connected united and remain in christ paul says in 2 corinthians chapter 5 was 17 he says when you are united in christ when you are joined to christ we become a new creation the old goes and the new comes in my dear friends this image of vine the branches and the fruit is has so much to tell us in this present condition of pandemic it is so, we have so much to learn from it and because there's so much of encouragement that we get through this word let us keep this image before us the vine branches and the fruit particularly in this time of trials when there's so much anxiety worry depression disappointments and so much of things that are happening around yes when we look at the vine and the branches it will help us to understand that all that is happening around us are facts but the truth is that we are far far away from this anxiousness and depression we are more than all that we are more precious to jesus we are his masterpiece and we are the apple of his eyes let us always keep this image in our mind to be connected to jesus just as the vine and the branches are connected to one another to bear fruit amen